So in this tutorial I just want to show you how to use uh, Trint. I hope I don't make a very long video, but uh, I just want to show you uh, where I am and how I do things. And right here I'm on Trint.com. And I grabbed a story off of this website uh, that uh, tells the stories of, uh, of homeless uh, uh, people in the United States. And the story that I picked was uh, this gentleman here named uh, Philip. And I uh, grabbed that story and then uh, went to Trent and I clicked on login and I uh, created an account so I have one and when I land on Trent's uh, page uh, you can see that uh, I've got a number of uh, projects I've already done and then I just went to a new folder and created uh, a folder called EDBM and so what I do next is uh, go inside that folder and I click here on upload and then it asks me a number of questions. Is it noise free, close to the microphone, is it um, clear without overtalk and all that's yes and I uh, click on proceed and now I'm going to grab uh, from my folder that uh, video that I uh, that I, I grabbed for educational purposes and I've dra and I brought it into the folder and notice that you could grab it from Dropbox or Drive or Cloud or whatever though be careful with what you're doing you know because especially if you're recording children and you, you don't have consent or or what have you you got to be careful with anonymity so uh, you also should check out whether or not Trent is uh, is approved but you can see that uploads pretty fast and I'll uh, pause it so you don't have to watch just give me through the magic of the internet or uh, computing it will be done soon so it's just about done and the next thing that uh, should happen is that I'm going to get prompted to uh, transcribe it and that's what I want to do. You've got a number of uh, uh, things uh, that you can se select from. I'm going to grab uh, 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 I guess English all accents, I'll leave it at that. Uh, vocabulary builder and things I'm going to just leave. And uh, you could even detect speaker changes, I guess. Um, you know, you can tell my Minnesota monotone voice from somebody's Boston accent or what have you. I can't do a good Southie. Uh, but right now it's uh, transcribing, and again, I'm going to hit pause while it does so, so you don't have to watch that. And so while you weren't looking, it transcribed. Uh, so now that it's been uh, transcribed, I can actually go into it. I believe if I click on this, it's going to load up the transcript right here. And I even get the window down below, and you can see um, the transcript here. So I'm going to play just a little bit of it so that you can, uh, you can hear it. Uh, and see that there are some areas that, that need improvement, but I'm not going to make them. But, but just watch. And so I, I don't want to play the whole thing, of course, but you can see that as the person speaks, you can get a sense of, uh, well, it, it actually tracks the speech and, and, and bolds the, um, uh, the, the transcription as it goes along. Uh, clearly, this is a, you know, a bit of a promotional video, so the, they don't keep the camera on him and there's uh, dramatic music in the background, but uh, the story is still very, very powerful. Um, in, in this part right here, uh, I can add a, uh, add a note, and let's say this is uh, Philip uh, in profile. Oops, oh, I didn't want to do that, so you can click right back into it, Philip's uh, profile. And I can even highlight this section in here, for example, and I can I even choose the color. I think I'll just choose, um, uh, I guess it's going to force me to choose uh, yellow, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be letting me. I guess uh, if it does, it did. Hooray. Uh, if you want to upgrade, I guess that's how you get more, more colors or, or what have you. But it gives you, uh, uh, you know, the option to at least highlight sections of it, which is, which is useful. Um, if I go through this and I read some of it, um, you know, I'm going to go put some codes in before uh, while you're not watching. Uh, but if you look in here, the expense of homelessness is terribly challenging and it tries one's patience. Uh, you can see a little mis transcription there. We have the experience of stereotypes and being, uh, as a result, being misjudged. And, and so one of the things I might include in, in this section here, if I were to uh, highlight it and highlight it in, uh, I guess, yellow again. That's all it's going to allow me to uh, to pick, or maybe it'll allow me to pick uh, green. Let's see if it does. Of course, it doesn't. Uh, but I just want to highlight um, this uh, section in here, 
And rather than adding a speaker, I just want to type in maybe a code. And the code might be uh, stereotypes. And then maybe even a, you know, a, a subcode like uh, stereotypes and effects. Because I want this to be like my the main category, and then I'd want to go in to look at what some of the effects happen to be. So let me put a few more codes in here, and then we'll uh, look at the transcript uh, once again when I'm done. So I want to let you in on some of the uh, codes I've thrown in. I added to the profile. I put in time. Uh, I misspelled stereotyping here for this section. People don't believe my story or surprise. Part of it has become of, of stereotypes. I have none of the usual problems that lead to homelessness, etc. Uh, and so why don't I go ahead and just fix uh, the uh, extra uh, letters that I have in here. And you can see also then I have, uh, just through this basic open coding, stereotypes and effects. Uh, some of the effects include abuse, disrespect, uh, shame. Uh, and maybe there are two different kinds of shame. Uh, there's the general sh shame of not wanting to receive government funds. Uh, but here, it's like shame is in exchange for uh, you have to go through some kind of shame in order to get support in these unpleasant in interactions. And there's also an experience of a lack of empathy from the, the society. So uh, we can even um, look in this uh, this part here we've taught in our youth and schools and our families to be independent so that education formation is strong in us and that's how we react when we find we have nothing left something that is important to me has helped me cope is uh, the religious education that I got many uh, many years ago and so he goes on to talk about uh, biblical stories and so forth that that, that he's found supportive so um, I guess one code I want to add and, and to do that I just click in here for example and I want to break this apart and I just want to throw in at this part maybe about um, uh, myths uh, that were taught uh, as in uh, as children and, um, and 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 then here what I want to code is where this person finds some uh, some kind of coping skills so I'm going to click into here and I'm going to put in like the uh, uh, coping skills or coping slash support uh, where the speaker is finding support in order to cope with uh, uh, this situation in which he finds himself. Um, also in here is a pretty big uh, part I think where he says my interest in sociology and social problems and humanitarian assistance uh, in migration and refugee problems stems from those early biblical stories that I heard. As a person experiencing homelessness, I find that I was the one who was a refugee. And uh, I would just put in like homelessness uh, as a refugee. Because that's uh, certainly an interesting uh, way that this person is characterizing his, uh, his experience as being a refugee in his own country. He is also indicating that he's working to end homelessness, and I don't want to do too much more coding, uh, but I'll put in service, and um, and I'll put in here another click, and under add speaker, I'll put in advocacy. Now, what can be done with this after it's been coded um, is this. You can export it, and the way that I want to export it is as a Word doc. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, download and then uh, we'll see what uh, what we get. I'll bring it into the window in a moment. And I get a, a perfectly coded um, transcript uh, that gives me some basis for uh, further analysis, for example. And I'll show you some other software that exists uh, later on uh, that will enable me to do this. Hope that was helpful.